Hey, Saggy, how y'all doing? Hey, gang, gang, it's your girl, Ruth. Welcome to another little series. And this one is Stop Ignoring How You Really Feel About Whatever You, How You Feel. Because you matter, too. You deserve to be happy, loved, cared for, right position, right place, lot of money, whatever it may be, okay? So I'm going to start with the cards. And... Uh, I parted them and the sun, marriage, happiness, bright prospects. But it was upside down, Saggy. Now I'm going to read from my book this time. And we're going to see what that means, okay? Let's see. The sun. Page 92. Okay, it says reverse. Permis permis permissious confusion. Okay. Confusion. Okay, the sun. The sun reveals a clarity that comes only after we have spent time with the darkest parts of ourselves. The sun signifies great clarity and the enthusiasm that comes after emerging from the darkness. An infant arms open wide rides on the back of a white horse beneath the bright sun both representing the return of innocence, optimism, and freedom. A red flag flies nearby, symbolizing renewed passion and the presence of love. The sun itself looms on the horizon, huge and vibrant, representing the car's main message of clarity and illumination. A field of flowers in the distance reminds you that life blooms once again, and so will you. There's a sense of relief in this card and a reminder that every dark night has a new dawn, okay? So reverse. The sun is one of the only cards in the deck that, re that means by tell virtually the same thing, whether it is drawn upright or reversed. Sometimes it can be difficult to recognize that things are changing when shifts don't happen overnight. But the reverse sun can ask you to take a second look at your circumstances and celebrate the small wins. They add up in time if you are attuned to them. Beware of being pessimistic because things are improving. Let's see what pessimist, pessimistic means. I don't know. So let me find out. Y'all might know, but I don't know. All right. I got an idea, but I just want to make sure, okay? Let's see. What does pessimistic mean? Here's the definition of pessimistic. Tending to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen. Ooh, okay. Are we doing this batch? <laughs> okay, let's go to the next card, which is upside down. Seven of Wands. Third Deacon Leo, frustrations. You are able to overcome your frustrations. You are on top of the situation. So it was upside down, Sag. Let's see. Let's go to Seven of Wands. See what they talking about. Okay. Reverse. Hyperventilate, hyperventilating. Feeling defeated. Reverse. Oh, let's read it first. The Seven of Wands. Taking a stand for your beliefs is a necessary part of asserting yourself in the pursuing of your goals. You can handle whatever life throws at you. Prepare to leap to the defense of your position with the Seven of Wands card. You'll see a young man using his wand as a weapon to defend himself against the Six of Wands coming at him. He appears to have been taken by surprise as he is wearing two different shoes. Okay, notice that. The rise to success is an ex entirely different journey than the one that begins once you reach the goal and inspire envy in others. The def indefinite identity of this man's attracted attackers is a mystery representing hidden challenges that 
inevitably arise and must be dealt with. How you address these obstacles and opponents determine, determines which new levels of, mm, God, doubt, of success will soon be within your grasp. So you got haters. Reverse. The reverse seven of wands can suggest you're letting your anger get the best of you by acting defensive and hypervigilant about your beliefs when challenged. It can also point to feeling defeated as though standing up for yourself is pointless. Instead of lashing out when provoked, you may tend to inter internalize your anger and frustrations. If this is the case, consider journaling about your feelings and then having a conversation after you had a chance to calm down and assist the situation. Your emotions are valid and deserve to be expressed. Wow. Let's read Third Deacon Leo, okay? Let's see. Third Deacon Leo is ruled by Mars and is the Aries Deacon. This is the warrior line who will go out into the world with a sense of righteousness and possibilities, who truly believes they can achieve anything they desire. Their will is so strong and desire so great that they often do achieve what they set their heart on. The fixed quality of Leo makes them stick to achieving those desires, but can also make them stubborn and resentless to any input from others, and they will rarely admit to making mistakes. They are very open and honest, however, no matter what others say or think. <clears throat> yeah. Are we being stubborn? Are we closing our heart off from people? Okay, how we doing that, y'all? I see both of these coming up. Look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Eight of Wands, speedy news, a situation coming, arrows of love. First Deacon said, we got shit upside down. Then we got the lovers, Gemini. Love affairs, romance, romance building again within marriage, relationship, relatives, loving relationships you could share with a friend. Uh -huh. Okay, the first one I picked up was this one, so I'm going to go ahead and read that. Eight of Wands. Okay. Then that's coming to us like that. I mean, how much, like the little, what, what do you say? How much can a bitch take? I mean, come on now. Yeah, duh. Eight of Wands, where am I? Okay. Two of Wands. Uh, okay. Eight of Wands. Incoming news sparks a series of events that change your traje trajectory. You find yourself where you need to be and in the company of the right people flow with the, the current. The Eight of Wands card brims with the energy of hastiness and speed, along with the Aces and the Three of Swords. It is one of the only minor arcana cards that does not depict people. This puts an emphasis on the actions taking place. Here you see eight budding wands flying through the air over a lovely pastoral landscape. These wands carry messages and can come in the form of letters, phone calls, emails, texts, or news heard from the lips of a passing stranger. However, these messages come. They bring an element of excitement, speeding up events in your life and disrupting your daily routine, often in an overwhelming positive way. Somebody trying to get your attention set. <laughs> Reverse. The reverse eight of wands can indicate delays or hang-ups, which put a damper on your enthusiasm about something you'd been anticipating. These delays are no accident. They are divinely timed to highlight an important realization, something you need to recognize before you can continue down your current path. Perhaps this lack of movement is reminding you to enjoy the prospect process without being so confused on the outcome. Hmm. Uh, 
Well, y'all been waiting on something? Don't be stubborn about it because they didn't call it the right time. They didn't come at the right time. All that kind of stuff, y'all. Forgive and forget. I guess that's what they saying, huh? Okay. Let's see. Eight of Wands. Wait a minute. First Deacon Sag. Let's see what it's saying. Your own card. Okay. Let's see. Okay. First Deacon Sag. The first Deacon Sag is the Sagittarius Deacon. Ruled by Jupiter. These people are adventurous and optimistic. Though they may lack tact at times, they often study higher philosophy and principles, including those of various religions, and tend to be lifelong learners. They also can tend to be on the dogmatic side and preach what they know. Okay, so we staying busy that we're doing. <laughs> we're researching and researching and researching again, so we ain't got to recognize what nobody's saying, too. That we're going on sad. You know, it's like, okay, let's go to the lovers, okay? Let me see. Okay, we got the lovers. Reverse meaning disharmony, imbalance. The lovers. The lovers stand together in harmony, the balance of masculine and feminine, with nothing to hide. Every choice they make is in alignment with love. The lovers' card signifies an opportunity to connect in relationships that support your happiest, healthiest, best self. The imagery shows a man and a woman standing naked in a garden between the tree of life and the tree of knowledge. The snake represents the temper, temptation that indulge in earthly pleasures, while the angel encourages the couple to choose divine love over succumbing to instant gratification. Despite despair for Desire for pleasure is balanced by vulnerability and trust, since both exist within a harmonious relationship. Do y'all trust them? Do y'all trust yourself? <laughs> Reverse. The reverse lovers in your reading can point to a relationship that is out of balance or codependent. This can also point to re relying too heavily on a partner to fulfill your needs or having unrealistic expectations of your relationships. To fix the imbalance, look inward to see where you can find the source of disharmony. Happiness is inside job that is reflect, reflected in your relationship. Now that I do know. If we ain't happy inside job, we won't be happy out. So everything they try, if you don't love yourself, you can't see the red flags. You know what I'm saying? We might put up with stuff we don't want to put up with. Or we see the red flags and we ain't putting up with it. Because the stuff that's been offered, we ain't trying to hit. Okay? Either or. <laughs> it's your choice. I'm just putting examples. Okay? Let's go to the next cards. Okay. Do my little cards and the uh, Tatiana's fortune cards. Everything. 